Um, for our next company, we'll bring up the winner of the social category. It's Lily. Hey everyone, my name is Purva, and my company Lily uses emotional intelligence to help women find clothes that would make them look and feel their best. We just emerged out of a very successful private beta where one in three Lily users has already bought from the top retailers available on Lily. Now this product is built on a very simple but scary insight. Shockingly, girls at the age of two start recognizing themselves in the mirror and start disliking parts of their body. At teenage, they start comparing their body with that of their friends, moms, celebrities. And as a young adult, these translate into serious insecurities such as, I'm fat and not good enough. To the effect that women in this country get 13 negative thoughts about their body every single day. Lily is changing all of that. Our emotional intelligence technology is first able to understand a woman's perceptions about her body through a very simple chat on our mobile app. Then, we use the most comprehensive styling logic to help her find clothes from her favorite stores that will play up her best features. And finally, we are able to understand more than 1,000 different attributes, yes, more than 1,000 different attributes about every single item of clothing on Lily, so that they can be recommended in real time as the user is walking into a physical store or shopping online. Now, more than 40 million millennial women are spending more than $1,200 annually on clothing, and we can get up to 40% of that. Lily is built by women for women. I did marketing and branding at the ad agency Saatchi & Saatchi. My co-founder is from Box & Yahoo, has built the number one gaming apps in the app store. Our stylists are from the top retailers such as Macy's, BCBG, and our technical advisors from Facebook, Instagram, and our among the world's 20 most powerful female engineers. This team is passionate about helping women be the best version of themselves. Every week now, we're adding more retailers and thousands of users. Thank you. Ja, ik vond de, de presentatie embarrassing en uh, bijna, zou ik zeggen, insulting. Wat? Ja, uh, nou, het is, de combinatie was tussen uh, vrouwen die, het is eigenlijk hun verhaal is, vrouwen willen dingen verbergen. Ja, en dan bouwen zij dus als het, en de wijze waarop ze dat verhaal vertelden was gewoon, was geen match met de technologie die ze, die ze uh, uh, aan, aanboden. Ja, dus gaan van dat interview wat ze hebben om uh, zeg maar zeggen, de emotionele problemen van uh, de vrouw te ontdekken. En dan te kijken welke dingen ze zouden willen verbergen op hun lichaam. Uh, en dan daadwerkelijk de juiste kleding daarbij te vinden. Nou, de, dat, de presentatie vond ik uiterst, de wijze waarop ze het deden, niet aantrekkelijk, laat ik het zo zeggen. Um, en plus, ik denk dat er heel veel uh, problemen zitten rond hun technologie. Uh, dus om daadwerkelijk, zullen we zeggen, ieder kledingstuk zoveel attributen te hebben dat je daadwerkelijk op kunt selecteren. Verbergt dit datgene wat je zou willen verbergen? Zeker. Gegeven de renewing cycle die er telkens is in, in, in fashion, uh, waarbij eigenlijk humans dat soort dingen moeten annoteren, uh, zie ik dat niet 1, 2, 3 gebeuren. How do you identify people? Is it the way they look? Maybe their smile or their possessions. Once you know someone well enough, maybe you can recognize them by the way they move or even their heartbeat. What is it that makes you, you? You are not a nine digit number. You are not a piece of plastic with a photo on it. And you are certainly not a password with a capital letter, a number, and a symbol. I'm John Whaley, founder and CEO of UnifyID. We're a group of security and machine learning experts from MIT, Stanford, Berkeley, and CMU, and we're out to fix authentication forever. We've developed a technique called implicit authentication that's going to revolutionize the way you authenticate yourself, both online and in the physical world. Our approach differs from every other authentication technique in that it requires zero conscious user action. You just be yourself, and there's enough that's unique about you that we can actually authenticate you. We, we don't require any special hardware. We just use the sensors that are already on your phone, computer, and wearables if you have them. Some of the factors we use are how you walk, 
the way you move, the places you go, and signals from devices around you. Our gate analysis alone is able to achieve a 98% true rejection rate with just a few minutes of training data. This blows away what's considered to be the state of the art, but that's just one factor. Our solution combines over 100 different attributes to achieve five nines of accuracy. That's right, that means we can actually authenticate users with a high level of accuracy without them having to make any conscious action. The key is the proliferation of sensors combined with our unique innovations in machine learning. Humans have always been thought of as the weak link in security. At UnifyID, we're flipping that around and using what's unique about each individual to enhance security. We believe the best way to authenticate yourself is to be yourself. Thank you. Biometrische gegevens zijn die uniek zijn per persoon. Hè? Die, is, die je ook zou kunnen gebruiken. Um, ja, vast wel. Ja, en, 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 dus, maar los het een probleem op. Los het een probleem op meer dan dat het je een iris scan of je fingerprint, uh, weet ik wat. Ik, ik zou echt de nummers moeten zien hoeveel meer. Uh, zeggen, hoeveel meer uniekness dat oplevert dan zeggen, een aantal van de andere biometrische uh, uh, dingen die we al, al, al hebben. En zoals altijd met dit soort zeggen, systeemintegraties is het hoe krijg je developers zover dat ze jouw identity gaan integreren in hun applicaties. Uh, en ik, daar hadden ze helemaal geen goed antwoord op en helemaal geen idee over.